I'm gonna get demonetized for this. Look at it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Organ Quarter. In the last episode we just got done getting through this block of flats and now, as we've reached our, hopefully, what is the ground floor, we can go ahead and finally find out what the rest of the city looks like. I say welcome to the Organ Quarter because we've discovered that the Organ Quarter is in fact a city. The entire city seems to be overrun with all sorts of fleshy demons and it's up to us to go and find out what's happened and save our necks. Oh, actually, no, we're going on a date. Never mind. We're off, we're off on a date. Uh, I've lost the door, but we're on a date, basically. We found a woman, she asked us to go on a date, and we've also got to find a doctor at cinema. Obviously. There you go. Everyone's caught up. So with that, we should be able to go outside. Or not? What the hell am I looking at? This could be outside. Just could be, <laughs> could be really dark. This is a little bit creepy, actually. Um, didn't expect that quite so early on, but there we go. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, Jesus! What in the world are you? That's huge! Okay, uh, let the games begin then, I guess. Just squidgy brains everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. Can I do anything with these? Oh, I'm gonna conserve my ammo. We've clearly gotta shoot this thing. It's got a heart, and I've got a lot of health that's going down currently. Here it is. We're not doing too bad, actually. We can survive a couple more shots. Ooh, he went for a shot there. That might have been the slugs. Really, I don't think shooting the slugs is going to be productive here. There we go. There he is. There he is. Dodge out the spray. Out. No, reload. Damn it. Okay, that, that did a big beating. It's dropped a couple more slugs. Uh, we're going straight in for a boss fight here. God damn, we've barely started the game. <sighs> Over there. Don't spray on me! Ah! I think we can probably tank this. We've got plenty of health kits to kind of see us through this. Very low currently though. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's get the shotgun out. This is clearly going to deal more damage. Uh, he's coming over there, down in the distance. Okay, he should see us do a spray attack. And now we can shoot. Okay, that was massive damage. I'm sure. I wonder if he's going to do any other moves. I mean, I'm quite happy if it's kind of basic for now, just because, you know, we're still getting used to the game. I'm not expecting a god to be here so early on. Oh, we got him? Yes! Get out of here! God damn. Now that... Is a lord of the flesh. God, this game's so weird. Anyway, so we're off to the the organ quarter. We're off outside to go on a date. Remember that? We're on a date. Presumably, there's a door around here somewhere. Maybe he was meant to give us a special item. Don't know. Let's get out, let's get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, I think we are outside now. I think that's maybe the sky. We're in between potentially a couple of blocks of flats. It's so hard to tell. The more that we get into this game, the weirder and trippier that it's getting. But I think that's what this resembles. Such a strange world. Ooh, railings, yeah. That's how we climb the stairs. And the last one. Take me out! I heard the wind. Yes! The streets of the organ quarter. We've finally made it. Ah, oh, and the creatures are already out on the streets. It's an okay day. Bit of a red sky, but something we can work with. I just like being out in the open gives you such, like a bigger sense of everything. I just feel... I feel a lot more a part of the world now. Is this really where we lived? In this, this awful block of flats? Well, we have a lot to discover then. We have the entire town. I guess first things first, we gotta go deal with these things. Whatever they are. Infected people? So far we don't know really what's caused it all. We woke up in a flat. We, uh, we found a gun. We killed some demons. We met a woman in a mask. And we just killed a horrific boss. 
other than that, no idea. I guess we can just walk into any old building? Maybe not. So the doctor said we have to meet him by the cinema. And the woman said we have to go near the university, there's a, there's a pub or a club. And we have to go over there. This is more of a survival game than an action game, so we kind of want to... If we can avoid aggroing these things, it would probably be for the best. Realistically, we just want to get the hell out of here. Ooh, the Corrin. This looks similar to a cinema, I guess. Maybe not like as decorated, but in this weird world, I guess it's as fancy as it's gonna get. It let's us go inside. <laughs> Down the infinite corridor. Can I? All right, so we've made it to the cinema. Uh, the game actually crashed in between me going through that door. <laughs> it will look like a split second for you, but it's actually been like a couple of days. And I've been trying manically to fix this this silly problem that my headset's having, where it keeps cutting out. I think, fingers crossed, I have found the solution to that problem. I won't talk about it too much because it's a bit depressing, but basically, I've gone ahead and disabled everything that could go wrong with the headset, which is anything to do with the microphone and anything to do with the headphones. And I'm now using an external pair of wireless headphones. So I'm thinking, well, if the audio drivers crash on the Rift, then if as long as I've got my PC headphones, then nothing can go wrong. And even if that application does crash, it won't be related to any of the problems that I'm having. Well, I'm just not using anything that could cause the problem, basically. So there you go, that's the solution, and hopefully it works. Looks like we have a recording here. Can I push it? Beep. To escape darkness, you sit in pitch, peeling your eyes at a glowing window. A casement of light, an aperture, into worlds of safety, of danger. Planes you envy or fear. The window doesn't revelate, but illuminates. Blanches your face, drenches, saturates. The window is a mirror. You squat in formaldehyde before it, and are illuminated. <sighs> Shining on yourself, <sighs> showing you your... Your what? That tape made absolutely no sense whatsoever. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. So we've got... Both side entrances here, and it looks like that door there is going to require a key. So I guess I'll go to the right first and see what happens. Nothing. Perfect. Okay, it looks like we just got this way to go then. There's also maybe a backstage area. Where are we at? The concessions movie theatre. It's kind of cool. Ooh, we can go backstage. Hey, and this is exactly a save point. That's, that's what we need. I like this. Yes, boy. Let me save it. So we've now basically just taken over the cinema. This is our place now. We've, we're backstage, we're using their staff room. That's always something that I really like about like an apocalypse type scenario or something. You could just get to walk into any old building and just make it your own. It's like, yeah, the cinema's ours now. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Right, here we go with extract number three of the horrific writing. Lawrence transcript, testimony number three. These kids keep coming up to me and asking, hey man, can you let us into the movie tonight? Yeah, the movie. Yeah, and every time I have to ask them, what movie do you want? And every time they respond, you know, the R-rated one. Yeah, with, with the tight, with the, with the titties. <laughs> and every time I have to say, sorry boys, you can't see that movie. Every night this happens. Every damn night. That one went fairly well. Damn kids, always trying to get those R-rated movies. I don't think that's the one. That's for sure. Somehow these movies have gone a lot more twisted. Something has definitely happened to this place to turn it into not a normal universe. I'm hoping that the game explains that as we go along. So far we haven't got too much in the lore. Not many titbits or anything, it's just... Here you go, you're in hell now. With this, with these things, whatever this is. But we'll, we'll make do for now. Yeah, this one's locked. There's a couple of those punchy trap things. They look like they're gonna... <laughs> They look like sentinels, just waiting for me to pass. I'm not gonna do what you want. No sorry. Okay, looks like I gotta do what you want. Shall I crawl? I'm gonna crawl. 
I apologize if this makes you puke. It shouldn't do. I'm gonna go down nice and easy to the floor. And then we'll go through. Ready? I'm gonna, gonna sprint while crawling. Go! Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Da -na. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> the power of VR! Okay, let's try in here. Locked. And then this should be a side gate. Maybe we've already gone past that locked door. It's possible that that locked door could be something that we come out of afterwards, as opposed to going into it. Is this like a garbage chute? Could be. I'm not looking at words and stuff. I'm not liking the look of this. Oh, I'm really not liking the look of this. Ow! Oh, I've got no ammo in this. Oh. Take it! Take it! I think these ones are like, hands down, some of the creepiest enemies. Should we pause for thumbnail? Hell yeah, that's a good one. Love that. Welcome to the theater. What? We've got veins. We've got veins. Oh god, and we got one of them as well. Oh, this is this is actually where the movie is? Oh goodness. My goodness! Stay away! Oh. Please tell me I've got more ammo. I do. Thank god. I do have to be very careful, because the moment I run out of ammo, the moment, like, it's gonna be incredibly difficult. Oh god, sprint past this. Did I get past? I think so. The trouble you have is that because, like, the movement's, like, dedicated to your hand, watch this, I'm actually pushing the analog stick forwards, so wherever I tilt my hand is wherever we move. So when I freak out, when something runs towards you and you go, ah, and you're trying to run away, like, because you, your hand freaks out, you end up not really going where you're meant to do. That's why they uh, they invented the head tracking movement afterwards, because it was so much easier. You know, you want to walk in the direction that you're going, not the direction that your hand decides it wants to go. But anyway, we've got the key. So that's a bonus. And now we can go back to that locked door that we had. Hopefully there's no problems here. Can't imagine they will be, but you'd never do know. Oh, that thing came out again. That makes sense. Alright, and now with the key, we should be able to go through here. Watch out! Let me in. Ooh, this must be backstage. This is creepy. Oh, yeah, stairs. Got you don't actually climb stairs in this game. Hey, sneaky health kit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, so we've got a document here. That is a lot of text. And then this puzzle. We'll do the document first. Well, this afternoon, I saw the kids again. This time, there was a woman with them. I guess their mum. She had a baby cradled in one arm. One of the kids caught my eye and shouted, That's the guy, mama! The woman looked at me and stopped walking. You cocksucker! <laughs> you cocksucker! My heart raced. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't know what. But she looked down at the baby nestled in her arm and... Fossiled it? Jostled it? Something did. She leans into the baby's face. You ever grow up to be like this guy? She nodded my way. I will kill you. I will kill you. She kept saying it to the infant as she trotted off down the sidewalk. The pack of kids bustling after. What did I do? Sounds horrible. So there's a silver one and a gold one, but this one's got a little gold nub, so presumably... Oh, so we, we've got like little gates on it? These are interesting puzzles. So this one should open the gate. And then this should allow us to go and get the gold one. How cool is that? Ah! The movie should be starting now. Perfect. I guess that's that. Maybe that the, the light will scare away some of the, the goop. Yeah. We can go down here now. Perfect. Well, that way's blocked. So this should take us to the cinema room. Hell yeah. I want to watch a movie. What do they have in the organ quarter? You must be the doctor! Or... No? Hello. I'm Hello. so glad you came out. No, no, don't trivialize how difficult it must have been for you. The outside world can be incredibly overstimulating. This uh -huh. is a grand achievement. Thank it's you. It's been a long time since you visited the theater, hasn't it? I'm well, sure yeah. It feels a little different now that you're coming alone. Many memories locked away among these rows and flip-up seats. But, uh, 
Let's not dwell on that. Yeah, gets the point, please. Make yourself comfortable. The movie is about to begin. You've, you you're gonna show me a movie? This is what we've been waiting for. Observe. Oh my god. Metaviscus sample 17 has successfully assimilated all organic functions. It's the furthest we've made it. It should be but a matter of days before this extraordinary behavior. Metaviscus does not understand the line between organic So this was your doing, Doctor. Tempting to transplant it into its environment, trying to make a body out of it. It feeds. The growths do not stop. This is the, the core process of the brain. This is where it was ended and where what? it will begin again in the university. Ah, the university, that infernal place. You screwed up, Doc. He's gone. So the doctor was experimenting. And it clearly went wrong. It sounded like whatever it was fed on humans. And it was that feeding that caused it to, um... To cause this whole mess in the first place. What have we got here? Some ammo? And something that says Metro. What is that? A wallet with a magnetic card for the subway. Oh, hell yeah. I want to go to the subway. Save it real quick. Okay, so that, that gives us things, things to work with, you know? I was only complaining just a second ago we didn't have too much about the law. Now I'm like, I'm good again. Lost and found. It's always just those little tiny tidbits of information that really get me excited for a game like this. Ah, uh, we're full here, so we could probably go ahead and put it in our lockbox. Perfect. Let's go to the subway. Are we back outside? Oh yeah. I'm not sure if these spores are things that I should be breathing in. It seems very much like... Ah, oh, what was that game called? The one on PlayStation? I'm the worst at remembering game titles. Ah, oh, God. I'm sure I'll just scream it later on. I'll remember it, don't you worry. You guys have probably already remembered it for me. The Last of Us! The Last of Us! There you go. We got it, we got it. It's like The Last of Us. We probably don't want to breathe these things in. I'm reloading again, guys. Chill. One for you. One for you. It got very dark. In the last few seconds. Does that mean time moves very differently? Or is this all just one kind of crazed out dream still? Alright, three shots. Need to remember that. So that was the entrance to the cinema. Which we're now good, and we don't need to go there anymore. We have to locate the subway, which for all I know could be anywhere. And if it booted me out of that door, I'm guessing it's probably not this way. But we may as well explore. We've also got the, the university, where we have to go find the woman. So, you know. You never know what we might happen to stumble across. There could be optional side quests in this game. It seems pretty huge. Could probably account for things like that. I'm actually going to save my ammo here. I was tempted to kill it. But if we get into a building and we have to start using a bit more close quarters ammo, we are going to be screwed. What have we got here? This looks like it could be useful. NNS battery supplies. Doesn't look like something we would need. But I can go in. Ooh. It's like a storage room. It's got its own safe point and its own chest. Can we play with this? No. There's not really any reason for this to be here. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, they are everywhere. Going this way. Bye bye. So I'm guessing we probably have a tiny bit of. Ooh, what's this actually? This looks like it could be the, the subway. Almost like a staircase down. Uh, I wonder if I could run through that without getting detected. Don't, don't take me near those flies. I've had enough of them from the last episode. Take me down. Oh yeah, this has to be the subway. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, and we have a map this time. The Organ Quarter Medical University. Ah, uh, well that explains a lot then if it's a medical university. Oh, look at all of this. There's the theater, there's the projects. So the university, there's, there's a club by the university, which is probably where we're going now. On the tube. Yeah, the subway down here. So we'll probably go up and round maybe to the university. If I had to guess. Let me in. We consumed the wallet. It took it. It's just taking it forever. <laughs> what sort of subway takes your wallet?
don't think the trains are going to be in service anymore. Somehow. Hey, look at you. Ooh. I'm surrounded by people and nobody can find me. Not even myself. Interesting. Dark and depressing. I'd say I like it, but I don't like it. This side's locked. Ooh, Ooh funky tunes. Uh, this bit particularly reminds me a little bit of the game Terminus. Uh, Project Terminus. We played it a little bit back on the channel a while ago. That was the one where you had to physically run in order to go forwards. I, I really did enjoy that. The developers are working quite a bit on that game. Don't know why I'm just shamelessly plugging it in this one, but hey. It's one that's kind of on my radar. I have a lot of games on my radar, and that one is on my radar as well. But currently they're just kind of making their way through the chapters. It's still in early access. So I'm kind of saving on, holding out for when it eventually does come. To full release, or at least they've done all the chapters in the story mode. Is this a train here? Must be. Looks like it's perhaps a bit stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and leave before it decides to come full force towards me. Alrighty then. What sort of grim subway is this? I suppose these are the back tunnels. This is where the uh, the engineers normally go fix any problems or to sort out some other power issues, maybe. So... Usually engineering things are just a bit grim. In general. <laughs> we, we, like, you, you know, they never get the pretty stuff. It's always the dirty, dank work. Uh, I'm gonna have to physically crouch under this one. Going down! <clears throat> Hello? Not quite sure about a cave system, though. I mean, I guess they are underground, but even still, this is looking more like a research facility than anything. Gonna need to find a power pack. Again. Hopefully this time we don't have to collect jars of toes and pubes. <laughs> I've definitely had enough of that. Hey, another one of these. Ooh, maps and documents and all sorts. So what is this? A button? No, a box. A powered battery. That's probably what we need to go through that door. Map of the area. God knows where we are in this. Probably here? Maybe? Oh no, we, we, we're, we're here, I, I reckon. Happy circle? No, happy triangle. Happy triangle for the hub. There you go. Illuminati is our homeworld. Pa always used to say to me, Henry, whenever you're really wrestling with something in your head, like, make sure to try and write it down. Transferring it from mind to body to paper will straighten it out like rain pressing rivulets down a galley. One of many words of wisdom he imparted to me over the years. Look at this text, like look at this, what, what? Seriously? <laughs> down in this place I'm part of a machine within a machine within a machine. The biggest machine is everything all around everything up above. Everything down below. The cities, the streets, the people, the world's flora and... What is that word? Fauna. The world's flora and fauna. One big old machine, made up of many smaller machines. The middle machine is this place, pulling fuel out from the walls. The smallest machine is me, us down here in the dark. In these caves, your arms become pistons. Your back becomes an elevator. Legs become burrows. Toes become tracks. So what he's saying is he's a train. So we've entered a mine, basically. We've gone from the, from the underground to a mine. I guess it would kind of make sense that the two are connected, but even still. Very odd. I'm not sure if the battery could have been used on that door, which, judging by the fact that this is locked... Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back later. Do not like that sound. That sounds like a new type of enemy that I am not willing to face. I guess we have a little bit of downtime here, so let's 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 do one of one of Stoomy's random conversations. You know, that's that's really what we're all here for. Just me to rant while we while we play through a game. Maybe not rant, but just like talk rubbish. Definitely. Let's put the battery in at least. Okay. Yeah, this looks safe. I suppose if this game's based off of like 90s survival horror, let me quiz to you. Let me let me put to you. Oh, we can take batteries. <gasps> Interesting. So maybe I'll put it in the back here, or can I just... Hmm. Okay, it's gonna be a puzzle. Yes, yeah, so let me let me put to you, what is your earliest memory 
of a survival horror game that you that you experienced? For me, I'd say back in the day, like I always used to watch my dad play video games, so it would have been maybe something like a Clock Tower. I don't know if anyone remembers Clock Tower, but Clock Tower was a game that used to happen on, or that was a thing back in PlayStation Two. I mentioned that one earlier, the, the the prisoner one with those like creepy stabby things. That was another one that's like my earliest memory of a horror game. I never used to watch them for long. I'd just be like, oh god, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Terrified me as a kid. But I guess that's like the early memories of what it was. Clock Tower was a bit more of just like you, you were like a young girl and you would... A giant mouth? You, you were chased by like a giant axe murderer. You had to hide in lockers and stuff. Classic survival horror back in the day. But I suppose Silent Hill and Resident Evil is more of the ones where you actually had guns. You were able to deal with the monsters. This is insane. Who the hell? Oh, okay, it's just a pipe. I thought this was a giant feeding tube for something hideous. You never do know. Wow. Okay, what do we got here? So currently, we are powering two. That one over there looks open. There's a door over to the left. And there's a power slot over to the right. What happens when I pull this out? Looks like a door closed on me. So I put B in. All of those come up, but not all of them. Oh, it's going to be one of those classic puzzles where, yeah, you light some of the lights. So I'm going to have to go and find a different power socket so that I can attempt to light them all. Okay. Well, I'll take it with me for now, because it's a spare battery. And I'll go explore the door. Maybe. Oh. Do, 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 do. I don't think we're alone in here. I don't think we're alone. Hello. Mind if I just slither in? <laughs> I love how slowly they die. They're just like... Oh, that really hurts! And then they flop down dead. Pistol ammo. Oh, these must be the combinations. That is very useful. And this is the second but Oh! I didn't realise that was a man. This is more than a man. It's like a form of robot. Looks like something out of dead space. Thank you. We're actually full on inventory, so I'll stab myself, and then I can take this. Oh, are these, like, the, the combinations? So doing two of them would get you there. I, I have no idea what this diagram is saying. Can I take it with me, if I if I take this out? Yes. Okay, good. I guess I'll just leave this here for in case I need any emergency services on the way. Stay there. We need a power block for the room just over there. Would be interesting to see what that's all about. Clearly the direction we need to go is forwards this way. Uh, you know, we may as well have a look. We got time, we got time. Trusty battery. And open. Wonder if this leads back to the save point. Far from it. <laughs> Creepy cave carries on. Oh, you want me to go in there? All right, sideways, sideways we go. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's so tight and claustrophobic. Squeeze through. Luckily, we have with us another battery. But we've also got the nub door. Let's try the nub door. No? Oh, there you go. Just a terrible shot. This should give us another battery? No, it gives us an option to use a battery. Okay, we'll try the battery in here. We do have one spare. What does this unlock? Maybe this is the way that we're meant to go and the other way is meant to give you a battery, but because we've kind of cheated a little bit and have a battery already. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm starting to get more like Half-Life Alex vibes as well. Back in the caves. Just expecting a head crab to come out of nowhere now. Let's just 
Okay, so oh, what are you? <gasps> it's a robot. I knew it was a robot. Okay, uh, there's not much we can do here. We're just gonna have to run. This is clearly something we do not want to mess with. We don't want to mess with you, cause you're gonna tear us a new one. He's slow, which is always a bonus, but we might have to do something at the other end here, so maybe we shouldn't stop and look at it. I get like an odd curiosity in games. Oh god, left or right, left or right. Right, right's got a door. It's a fence! It's a fence! Oh, look at it! Can I shoot it? Does nothing. I'm not gonna waste too many bullets on it. I suppose I could have missed them. Everything's okay. Let's just, let's just sing our way through it. <laughs> Come by, oh, my lord. Come by, oh. You still coming? My god, I'm lost in this cave system. Give me a minute, my friend. Give me a minute. Interesting that, that he was, like, eaten in the last one. Now, like, we saw another one of those robot dudes, but he was... Oh, we got a power block there. So we got to run all the way back to get a power block. I think he's lost us. Okay, for a second, he, he lost us. Ah, uh, he's gonna be really close. He is gonna be really close. <gasps> no, I got stuck! Ah! Uh! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Let's try this way. So I'm gonna have to run all the way back to get the power block. To then bring it all the way to the front here. No. It's blocked off. Do I have a block? I don't have a power block. I have a chart of power codes. You've sealed me in! You monster! Oh, I guess we're going back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah, uh, how are we gonna get behind you? Okay, we'll have to do the old loopy loop. Ooh, not sure about this. Let's try this way. Hopefully he comes this way round. Good, good, good. And then I'm gonna, yeah. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Get out of here! Get out of here. So there has to be something over here. There has to be a door, or a battery, some lights, something we can use. Looks like we lost the dude. Yeah, we need a battery. How? From where? Oh, you don't suppose he drops a battery and I have to kill him? Let's go find him. Hello, my friend. <gasps> on the back! On the back there, do I have to sneak and grab it? Gimme, 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 gimme. I got it! I got it! Oh! Jesus Christ. What are we dealing with? Flesh robots? This game gets weirder and weirder. Oh god, how many times are we gonna have to do that? That wasn't fun. Alright, battery in the door. Moving on. Get me out of this cave. Somewhere a bit more light, please. Like some lights. Yes, more lights. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, good. Good, good maze. Lovely maze. More of a one-way maze, which is even better. Guess you'd call that a path if you wanted to be pedantic about it. What do we got here? Another chart of power codes. Oh, so these are like singular power codes. And we have ourselves a battery as well. Is that- Oh! I'm glad I got that on this side of the gate. Could have been world ending. I think I'm just here for the battery. Yeah. Uh, we'll use one of these. And then I can take it with. Come here! Oh! So much crouching in this game. I'm getting a full workout. So many squats. Let me through. He's not back up and running, is he? I'd have expected this gate to be open, game. Considering I use the battery here and everything. Okay. Looks like I cheesed it. Two batteries. 
Oh god, now there's regular enemies? Jesus! Oh! I've got no ammo! Ah, uh, let's just go. They won't see me coming. They'll never know I was here. I'm like the wind. Always present, but never visible. Just flowing through. Okay, let's see what's beyond this one. So this should take us somewhere slightly new. I'm not sure what the, the point in all of this was. Okay, if I can just grab you. Maybe, maybe I'll throw like a med pick on the floor. And I can grab it and run. Genius. Okay, so it looks like maybe we're going to need to put the, like, all four batteries in a spot, probably. Just going to have to drop every med kit ever, but it should be okay. Let's see what's beyond this door. I don't think we ever did see that. This one opens up into... a door? Ah, back here. Awesome. We can use the storage crate for some health kits. That is after I just ran my face into some fleshy... Well, let's not talk about what it actually is. Oh, come on game, don't do this to me. Now I gotta go all the way round just because of your shenanigans. I think that, that's gotta be a bug. It's definitely a bug. Like, look at this, the power pack's in. You should be open. Oh well, I'll take it with me. We might end up with more than we ended up, like, in the first place anyway. We're gonna have to drop something here, though. Oh no, that one's too far away for me to do that. We have three, and then there's gonna be the fourth one in that other room anyway, so... We'll be fine. Alright, well we got one here for A. One here for B. One here for C. And we got these two documents, I'm gonna put them here and here. Where they are just pitch black anyway, perfect. Oh, we got a torch, we got a torch. So! We need to do a two combination with maybe a one combination, that makes sense. So, B, C mixed with E. Let's do that. B, C mixed with E. Ha! <laughs> Genius. You see that? Because E does the, the one and two, and then B, C does two and four. So it's just one and three, two and four. Yeah, cool. Genius. Let's go! And just pray that we don't need to take a battery with us. Game with the barnacles. It almost makes you seem like this thing was underwater once. There's so much rust as well. I suppose that doesn't have to necessarily mean it was underwater. No, I guess it helps. Okay, we've got nothing in the shotgun. We're just going to have to deal with a pistol for now. I think the Doctor's probably going to be the end enemy in all of this. We're probably off to find the Doctor. The crazy Doctor. The man who started this all. Oof, back in the red fog. Not good. My poor frames. I've only got so many that I can spend. Hello. Ah, oh, it's so hard to shoot in VR. Ooh, lots of ammo. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I see the end. The end is in sight. Oh, uh, or is it? No, I need another battery. Ah, ah, stupid flies. Take me away from the fly. I have a feeling we're going to come up against another metal man. Please, no. Oh, definitely. Metal man. Ah! This guy's like rapid fire puking! Chill! I got hit bad with that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh. What is this? Oh, another blank panel. Wait, it looks like the other side of the door, though. Oh, but there's another one. What is this madness? Fun never stops. Oh, there's just no way. Oh, got it. Aha. Oh! Ah! 
words can I express? How creepy it is down here. They're so silent as well. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. Bingo! Maybe that's all we need. I can get beyond here now. Those lights over there's... Do you think there's gonna be another metal man? That's ammo! You gotta put ammo in there, you idiot! Ah! I need it! Battery. It's locked. Go. Okay. Okay. Progress. I'm making progress. That's all that matters. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. He doesn't see me. There's two of them over there. Ah, I need another battery. I could probably steal the same one that I've got. I don't know if that's what the game intends for you to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Big cheese. Big cheese. Massive cheese. One battery is all, is all we need. We'll just hug the wall. Oh god. Yeah, there is. There's, there's a robot dude over there. There's a robot dude. There's a ranged dude. God damn. Take me away. Please. Okay. 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 Wait, and we're back here? This looks way too familiar. Did we go all the way through there just to go back into the subway? No. It can't be. This- this is different. Oh yeah. Cool. Ah, oh, and a moment of respite. Despite our troubles. I think there's something over there. Ooh! Open up! Uh, okay, thank you. I can understand why they call it the Organ Quarter now. It really is just like we're walking through the human body. There is actually a VR game where you get to do that. There's like, it's the creepiest thing. It's like a huge giant that's died in the middle of like an ice, ice, icy plain. And it's got like its mouth open. And you just basically walk through his giant body and explore what it is to, to live inside the human body. Quite literally from the inside out. Creepy stuff. But not as creepy as this, that's for sure. I think it definitely goes back to old school Old school survival horror, like, they, they, they've nailed the nostalgia for sure. And kind of brought it to life as well. It's like doing a recreation of, of some of the old games, but... Well, they made it new and something of their own. Huh? That's gonna be helpful. Ooh, the bar. So this must be where the girlfriend is. Or to be. With, with a bit of smooth talking. Lots of names as well. People's bedrooms, presumably. Oh god, it's a horror nightclub. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Let's go in this one. This looks creepy as hell. Letter or leader. Kamala, can you let me in? Ooh, we're getting in this one. Yes. Bingo. Uh, please don't look too intently on those pictures. We got an Uzi! Uzi! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I gotta swap the guns out. Oh, I gotta make a choice. Okay. Okay. I think I will save that choice for the next episode. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. So, I'm gonna stop it here. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure so far into the depths, into the unknown into the darkness that is the organ quarter, and this, this incredibly trippy experience, for sure. But other than that, if you want to see the full game, if you want to kind of see the rest of this game from its beginning, then go down into the description below and you'll find a full link to the playlist down there. Other than that, I hope you have a nice day wherever you are, or, or at least a nice day tomorrow, if you're watching this late at night, and I will see you all in the next time. So until then, goodbye! <laughs>